Hello, and welcome to Software Architecture Monday. My name is Mark Richards, and in this lesson number 214, we'll take a look at a pitfall called microservice all the things. Now, an anti-pattern is something that seems like a good idea at the time and sometimes works, but usually leads you down a bad path. Whereas a pitfall is something that's never a good idea, even from the start. So the microservice, all the things pitfall, is starting out with microservices when creating a new system or migrating from a legacy system. Now, I'm going to start out with a well-known quote of mine, and it goes as follows. Not every portion of an application has to be microservices. And I want you to remember this quote because I want to show you what happens with this particular pitfall. So starting out with microservices when creating a new system from scratch or migrating, let's take a look at the superpowers of microservices. So if we look at why we usually choose microservices, um, when we focus on it, it's because it has five stars, that's the best, for maintainability, testability, and deployability, those aspects of agility, the ability to respond quickly to change. Also has very high ratings, five stars and four stars, uh, for scalability and elasticity. Finally, fault tolerance and evolvability also both have five stars. These are microservices superpowers. But every time we look at the superpowers, we also have to look at the bad parts, the kryptonite. And the first we see is that of cost. This is an extremely expensive architecture style, not only to create, um, but also to maintain, including the ongoing costs of infrastructure. Also, it is an extremely complex architecture and can possibly have fairly low responsiveness due to all the latency of communication between the services. So when we take a look at starting out with microservices, why is this a pitfall? What's the big issue? Well, there's two things. First, if we start out just with microservices, every function ends up becoming a microservice and also modeling Fine-grained data is really hard. So here's what happens. We start out with microservices and we end up making everything a microservice. And as a matter of fact, let's put these superpowers up here that we just reviewed for microservices. Well, if we look at all of these services we created, uh, the ones over here is all of the admin functionality. Uh, this is maintaining things like name value pairs and just all the administrative stuff of the system. Well, certainly that doesn't need any of these microservices superpowers, but we gain all of the negatives. Uh, this area of the system over here does automated warehouse replenishment functionality. And again, this doesn't need any microservices superpowers, and it incurs all of the negatives. The area up here happens to be all the back-end order fulfillment functionality, all about picking and packing and shipping the order. Again, that really doesn't need any of these microservices superpowers, but again, it incurs those negatives. Well, all of the services down here that we ended up creating is all of the customer-facing functionality, things like signing in, browsing the catalog, and placing an order from a shopping cart. Turns out, this is the stuff that actually does need the microservices superpowers. So, <clears throat> to really avoid this pitfall, one technique is start out um, by creating or migrating to what's called a service-based architecture. I have a prior lesson, if you're not familiar with this architecture style, uh, that you can actually see by just going to my website, going under lessons and searching for service-based architecture. Uh, but the reason 
uh, this is a great technique for avoiding uh, this pitfall, is moving here first creates what are called domain services, not microservices. Uh, these are independent domains of functionality. All of the functionality in that domain is contained within a single coarse-grained service. And best of all, uh, this architectural style does not require us to break apart the data. So we can have admin functionality, there's all of our warehousing functionality, our fulfillment, and our customer functionality, all sharing the same database. Now we can start asking some questions, and this is uh, the secret sauce to avoiding this pitfall. If we move here first, we can look at these domain services and say, well, you know, admin functionality doesn't really have any benefits breaking it apart. It's actually good right where it is. As a matter of fact, the same thing with warehousing. We don't really get any benefit breaking that domain service down any further. The same with fulfillment. But customer, we do. Because that's the functionality that needs the microservices superpowers. And so what we end up doing is migrating now further to microservices just that single domain service. Meaning that now all of these services have the proper level of architectural cap uh, uh, characteristics or capabilities within that architecture. This kind of hybrid is extremely popular <clears throat> and avoids this pitfall, microservice, all the things, by not creating microservices when it's actually not needed. So kind of in summary, I want to come back to this quote to remember. Not every portion of an application has to be microservices. And by moving to service-based architecture first, it allows us to pause, not have to worry about data yet, and actually determine now that we're at this stepping stone, which portions can stay there and which of those domain services to now break apart further into microservices. Now this pattern, along with all lots of other patterns, as a matter of fact, almost 40 of them, um, are going to be in an upcoming book that we're working on called Software Architecture. Patterns, Anti-Patterns, and Pitfalls. Uh, the early release is out there as of the date of this recording, which is December 1st, uh, but we expect the publication to date to be around the late spring of 2026, but you can still get this on the O'Reilly platform in early release now. So uh, this has been Lesson 214, the microservices, all the things pitfall. Um, please stay tuned. Uh, next month for another lesson in Software Architecture Monday. Thank you so much for listening.